So you leak tested your car and you found a boost leak. How much power are you actually losing? Today we're going to find out with a condom and a garbage bag. Today I'm down at Mighty Car Mods. The boys have kindly lent me too sexy to do some scientific research on. Now the reason we're here is I got an email from a guy, he leak tested his intake, which is a popular thing to do so you can find boost leaks, see if you're losing any power. Now he sent me a video and his blow off valve was blowing some bubbles. So we thought this is a great opportunity to do a video and show you exactly what sort of leak we're talking about, how big that leak is, and is it costing you any boost pressure or power. This is the blow-off valve we're going to be testing. This is the one that originally came on Too Sexy, so it's perfect for this test. It's connected to the intercooler pipe, of course, which goes through to the turbo. Now in the front of the turbo, I've got a plug in there. Into that plug, we're going to be feeding pressure from an air compressor, which is set to about 15 psi. Now I've also got our leak detection fluid, which is basically just soapy water. So I'm gonna be spraying this onto the blow off valve and we'll see if we can get any bubbles out of there. All right, we'll cover it with our boost detection fluid. Now we're gonna apply some pressure. Okay, so we've got some bubbles coming out of there. That's pretty much what I would expect to see from this valve. Now, what we need to know is, is that air loss causing us a power loss? The first thing we need to do is find out how much air this car actually uses while it's on boost. To give you an idea, it's gonna use about that much in one second. So what we're going to do is cover the valve, collect the air coming out of there, and compare the size of the leak to the amount of air that the engine consumes. This garbage bag is the same size as the one we just saw. I'm gonna put this over the top of the blow off valve and then we're gonna run the pressure back into the intercooler and see how long it takes to fill this bag back up. So the garbage bag clearly wasn't working. This leak just isn't big enough to fill up the garbage bag. So we're gonna use something smaller so we can make this happen faster. I've got my smaller collection device stretched over the valve. Now we're gonna run the pressure into the intake again and see if we can capture some volume. Look at that, I can see some inflation. This is looking good. Okay, that is what we collected in 60 seconds. Here's what the engine uses in one second. So at the end of the day, what does this actually mean? Well, you can see the amount of air that we're talking about here. Even though the leak looked quite bad because the bubbles were blowing out of there and it certainly looked like a bad leak. But when we actually measure it, we're talking 60 seconds worth of leaking air versus one second of air that the engine consumes at full boost. So the sort of percentage that we're talking about works out to be about six one thousandths of a percent of the total engine airflow. So is this air causing you a power loss? Not even close. 